everybody. I'm Jesse from DarkstormReviews.com and this is an awesome Chewbacca hoodie my wife got me for my birthday on Friday, March 6th. Uh, this is just completely awesome. Uh, really surprised uh, by this present. Uh, it's really comfortable, nice and warm. Um, it is just simply awesome. It's a Chewbacca hoodie. Uh, it's even got a pouch at the bottom here. Uh, this is great. I'm definitely going to be wearing this uh, to Comic-Con in May uh, on the day that uh, Peter Mayhew is doing his Q&A. Uh, definitely. This could be awesome. Uh, okay, so what else did I get? Um, my wife also got me the Dancing Groot, the actual Dancing Groot. Uh, this uh, goes on like this and so it reacts to your voice or music or whatever it is that you want to make it dance with, uh, or you can play the song from the movie. The... Awesome. Uh, Groot. I have many, many Groots. That's my one, two, three, my fourth Groot. Two Pops and a Mystery Mini plus that. All right. Uh, oh, and before I go any further, Big shout out to Carnage Man 99, uh, who for all the uh, retweets and favorites uh, on uh, my Twitter feed uh, on uh, on uh, Friday. I Instagrammed a lot of pictures. My Instagram is connected to my Twitter, and I posted a bunch of uh, like birthday related pictures, like me wearing this and my cake and all kinds of stuff. And uh, he, uh, <coughs> yeah, he uh, favorited and retweeted a lot of stuff. We had a little back and forth too, uh, which was awesome. So thanks a lot, Mike, really appreciate it. Um, if, anybody, if anybody wants to check out any more pictures that I Instagrammed on that day, uh, just check my Instagram uh, account or my Twitter. Uh, they're both in the description below. And so, yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you the rest of uh, what I got for my birthday and then the rest, rest of uh, my haul. Uh, my mom, uh, my mom got me a bottle of Blanton's original bourbon. Uh, this was recommended to me by Tim Morant. Well, not really recommended to me, but uh, back when I did my 100 subscribers contest, um, I was asking people what kind of alcohol they like, and Tim Morant mentioned Blanton's uh, bourbon. And uh, so I asked for a bottle of this, and uh, I got it, and uh, it is delicious and smooth and uh, really awesome, Tim. Uh, you have awesome taste. Uh, this is uh, an excellent whiskey. Um, I love the bottle. I love the the topper here. Uh, my mom told me that there's a bunch of them you can collect, and I looked up it looked it up on their website. And uh, well, I'm sure you know this. Uh, each each one has a, a letter at the bottom there that eventually spells out Blanton's. Uh, I have the A, um, and you can get a, a horseshoe. Um, from the company off their website um, to put them all in and display them so which looks pretty cool and uh, do you have one and if you do have one Tim uh, please show it off uh, in your next video I would love to see it mm -mm -mm. that's good 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 stuff uh, and also from my mom I got Whoops. Oh, I spilled it. Spilled it. I dropped it. iTunes. 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 Xbox. Awesome. Uh, I already had some money on my iTunes account now uh, before, so uh, I think I've got like 76 bucks on there, so that'll buy me some, uh, some movies, some music, some whatever. That's awesome. Um, and uh, not sure what I'm going to get on the Xbox store yet. Uh, we'll see. Um, but I'll put that towards. And also from my mom. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what to do with this yet, uh, but she saw it and thought I would like it, which I definitely did. Uh, it's just some kind of a pouch thing uh, with some. Uh, uh, old, some uh, science fiction y kind of. Uh, 
um, artwork on it there. You see the robot, like a toy, like an old toy robot. You know those old, uh, those old battery operated tin tin robots there, and uh, some space stuff there. So yeah, it is pretty cool. It's just, uh, it's just a pouch. You know, you can use it for whatever. Um, I don't know what yet, but we shall see. And some uh, cult films, well, science fiction mostly. Um, posters, poster set. Um, I should definitely try to get these framed sometime. We got uh, these are really awesome. I've seen all these movies. I don't own all of them though. Uh, Time Machine, from Lash Gordon. Well, that's probably the serials, not the movie. Uh, Day of the Triffids. I don't have this one. It's been a long time since I've seen that. Dracula. I do have this. <clears throat> Frankenstein. I do have this. And what else? Uh, oh, the fly. I do I have this? I don't remember if I. I don't think I do actually. I there. You know what? I'm not 100% sure. I might have that on DVD. Uh, the day the Earth stood still. I do have that. And Metropolis. I do think I have a copy of that. Not the newly released one on Blu-ray though. Uh, mine is an older print. So that's cool. And that's it for my birthday. Um, I won't be seeing my stepfather until this Friday. Uh, he's taking my wife and I out to dinner. Um, so, um, first I will show off some movies I got. Uh, Mocking Jay Part 1 was released uh, on Friday. Ne they never release on Tuesdays, uh, the, the Hunger Games movies. It's always on some other day, like Friday or Saturday. Uh, so I picked that up at HMV. I uh, haven't checked it out yet. Uh, well, I, we saw it in theaters, but I have, we haven't watched the Blu-ray yet. It's got some good extras on it, including a, uh, a tribute to Philip Seymour Hoffman. So that's kind of nice, eh? And as a bone, uh, the previous Hunger Games movies uh, I got on day one, and I got film collectible film cells with them. The HMV was giving out, so I asked the guy, "Are you giving out film cells this time?" It's like, well, we don't have film cells, but we have uh, um, fabric posters. Do you want one of those? I'm like, yeah, I'll take one of those. This is great. Uh, it was all folded up. Uh, my wife and I used our little steamer to steam out uh, most of the creases in it. And so this is the fabric poster that you get. Well, supplies last, I guess. I'm assuming they're probably all gone by now. Uh, but yeah, that's really nice. Do, do, do. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Uh, and I got a couple of used movies too, actually, from uh, the turning point here. Uh, Apocalypse Now, um, full disclosure, I've been wanting to get this for a while now, but it's usually, it's been very expensive, it's not too bad now, I think it's 25 bucks at HMV, but I got this used in very good condition uh, for $9.95 at the turning point, uh, so that's great, it's got the theatrical cut, Redux, and Hearts of Darkness, the documentary, very cool. Uh, and I picked up, I was very surprised to find this, uh, I'm glad I did. Uh, the Dune uh, miniseries, which has long been out of print. You can't get this new anymore. Um, so that was great to find. I'm glad I picked that up. So. Now, on to the comics. On to the comics. Let's see here. All right, so I got multiple copies of Princess Leia. That's the regular cover there. I did read this, and it was kind of a letdown, I got to say. Um, yeah, uh, compared to the main Star Wars book and even the Darth Vader one, uh, where I could hear all the characters' voices when I was reading it, the writers and the artists all really captured the characters very well. Not so much with this. Uh, Leia looks kind of weird in some panels, and I like Terry Dodson, and I like this cover, um, but... Yeah, and they introduced some, some uh, other characters that didn't really do it for me, like this uh, female X-Wing pilot, and... I don't know, I wasn't hearing Leia's voice, it just, I don't know, it, it was it was disappointing, so I don't know if I'll be getting issue two. Um, but nice cover, and I did get the Scotty Young, uh, so I am missing the Darth Vader Scotty Young only out of those three. 
Uh, I will be ordering that from Midtown probably pretty soon. I'll get those, uh, and then I did get a second copy as well. Awesome. And I think, yeah, one of those was from Silver Snail, and the other one I got from the comic book shop. Yeah, one from each. And I also got a sketch cover. Um, comic Con's coming up in May, uh, so I'm gonna bring, I'll be bringing a few sketch covers with me. This one, uh, Spider Gwen, I can't remember, a, couple, a, a few, three, four, maybe something like that. Uh, Return to the Living Deadpool issue two, I have not read issue one yet. Uh, a lot of catching up to do, I'm catching up a bit, slowly. Uh, Rocket Raccoon issue nine, Infinity Man of the Forever People, issue eight, only one more to go on this, unfortunately, I have enjoyed that series. Uh, Harley Quinn, issue 15, that's the regular cover. Uh, oh, I got the other ones mixed in here, I'll just find those quickly. I thought they were all together, they aren't. Uh, that's the Harley Quinn month uh, variant, which was for February, but it's March it came out, so kind of weird, whatever. Or was it March? Yeah, it was. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, and this is this is the uh, one in twenty-five variant. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Green Lantern issue. I don't remember. Uh, but this is the two thousand and one Space Odyssey cover. I'm not collecting all of the uh, movie poster variants. Um, I collected. I got a full set of the Harley Quinns. I'm not doing a full set of this too, that's just going to be too much. Even though there are some covers that I really do like, um, like the Enter the Dragon Grayson one, eh, I'm not going to get them all. I'm going to get the ones that I am either collect regularly or sometimes collect. Green Lantern's one of them. Excuse me. Uh, God Hates Astronauts. Issue 6. Zany, zany, crazy, funny stuff. Uh, Avengers, issue 42. This one leads into Secret Wars. Cool. Saga, issue 26. Quite a bit behind on this. Uh, I gotta catch up on that soon, like with so many other things. Ah, uh, as I said in my last video, um, I was, I was, uh, I didn't get my second copy of Spider-Gwen, um, uh, Scotty Young. Very, I got, I got one from Silver Snail, which is all they had. And uh, comic book shop, theirs were delayed, so but they did put one aside for me at regular price, so I got my second copy of that. Uh, New 52 ish features and issue 44. I am all caught up on this. Uh, I like I like the Superman in this. I like uh, like with with the beard and the jeans. Pretty cool. I like him like that. Mm. And uh, Earth 2 World's End issue 22. Not caught up on this yet. Uh, that's probably next, but I'm going to catch up on since it's weekly and ending soon too, very soon. And Earth 2, issue 32, this is the final issue. Uh, I did not read this yet either. I'm um, two issues behind, this and 31. And that's it for the comics. Um, my last two videos, uh, I, showed up, I showed off my new setup. Uh, so if you haven't checked those out yet, if you want to see how I display my movies, my pops, uh, my display case over there and some other stuff part one is right here and part two is right here so go check those out if you're interested um, and yeah that's pretty much it I guess uh, I'm Jesse from darkstreamreviews.com thank you very much for watching your subscriptions your likes your comments are always very much appreciated thank you to all the new subscribers I've gotten recently and so yeah, my wife took me out shopping as well and uh, bought me these nice Wind River duck boots. Awesome, yeah.